Hi friends! My name is Chris Tripolino and this is first try at the guitar toolbox. Well, I just want to show you one thing in this lesson. Uh, we've been talking about uh, how to learn chords and how to improve switches between chords to nail those transitions. And one of the things that I've found with a lot of students to be really helpful and in my own practice is to do what I call imprinting. Uh, we imprint these chords, and uh, let me show you the process for that. If you want to play a D chord, maybe that's a hard one, maybe you're just learning that one. Uh, whatever the chord is, it doesn't really matter. What we're trying to do here is kind of uh, make your muscle memory work for you. And so what we're doing is we'll play the chord, shake out your hand, and then quick as you can get back into position and play it again. So what that does is each time that you shake it out and put it back, it kind of makes your, uh, it sort of resets your, your hand. So you can't be um, just sort of like holding on to a position like we often do to sort of maximize our uh, switching. This kind of helps us to really start Finding that it, it's like a, it's an exercise to really strengthen us and to fight for that chord each time. And each time you do it, you get a little bit quicker finding that same chord again. You can also do it moving from chord to chord. So and each time you do that, uh, it's it's kind of building those pathways in your brain and in your muscle memory to help you find those chords quicker and quicker every time. So if you're having a, uh, having trouble in a song that you're working on, then um, uh, with, with the, the switches between the chords, this is a great exercise to try to uh, minimize the gap in between those chords to really work on... Um, on those transitions. So this is just a tool I've found really helpful. Again, I call it imprinting. The basic idea is play the chord, shake it out, find it again, and play it. So just keep repeating that, that same procedure until you keep getting quicker and quicker at finding those chords and making those chord transitions. Thanks a lot.